I knew I was in trouble as soon as I turned to page two. I mentioned yesterday that I knew I was going to have trouble with pages two and three and I was right. I was right. I had no idea how to approach this one. I twisted the book this way and that way until I started visualizing lotus flowers and leaves floating on water. And that all sounded good until I was no longer having fun with it. Things were getting complicated confusing and also I do apologize for the shift in lighting I tried to correct as much as possible but something went wrong and I think it's because I have too many light sources the candles the twinkling lights and my overhead lights so I will pay attention to that in the future ones Things quickly got out of hand. It was complicated and confusing. There were too many lines going on in all sorts of directions. There was a lack of focus and that would have been fine if I had kept on, put in my 15 minutes art workout and then moved on. But part of this exercise is also to have fun and I was having none of that. So now we enter the correcting phase, which is covering up some of those lines to get rid of the confusion and I will let you watch this intervention and come back in a bit with my final thoughts or deep thoughts. 
final thoughts.
And now for the final thoughts. <laughs> um, yeah, my final thoughts. Well, I have a few. A, it's okay to transform and reassess if you have the time, but it's also okay to accept the growing pains and let go if you don't have the time. B, if the piece doesn't turn out as well as you would have wanted it, pat yourself on the back for having given yourself the time to art in the first place. That's a big achievement. Um, C, mm, there will be good days and bad days. <laughs> and the final thought, um, and this is one just for myself, it's not a good idea to start a project at 11 p.m., <laughs> I have to listen to my body and go to bed. Day two was a hectic, crazy, busy day for me as I officially launched the store. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank you, um, to thank those that have put in orders. Uh, we had a wonderful launch, sold out of a couple of items, and I am super thankful and grateful. Um, also, because I've had quite a few requests, we will be restocking the blank mini journal that I'm using right now. Uh, it's a journal that I made myself in case you didn't watch the previous video. Um, like I said, there were a lot of requests, but I need to restock on the paper first and I will keep you updated uh, through my newsletter. So make sure that you go to the website and leave your email address. So that way you'll know when I restock and any other news that I might want to share with you. Day three tomorrow or today, cause I'm editing this late or yeah, during day three, <laughs> um, who knows what's going to happen when I woke up this morning and I started editing this, I figured out another way that I could have rendered day two in a much more efficient way and also render the idea that I have in mind, uh, with the lotus flowers and leaves. But again, uh, listen to your body, CC, when it's time to go to bed, go to bed. <laughs> uh, I'm still very grateful for the experience. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this page sends the right message to you all. Um, like I said, I'm very grateful for it because it taught me a lot and I have so much to learn still. This was transformative. Just because of that, I'd say it is a success. As usual, the list of colors and markers that I used will be in the description below. Also, the color of my nail polish because I got a few requests. <laughs> uh, incidentally, it is called Guilty Party, Guilty Without the U by Sally Hansen, but I will leave that info below. Have a beautiful and creative day, and I will see you all tomorrow.